Hello, happy Resurrection Day. My name is Phil Walker and I'm here with my family and many scripture loving friends here in Indonesia. And we're spreading a passion of God's word throughout this country. And today, as I think about our risen Lord, I'm reminded of the very first time that Christ's resurrection was not just empty words, not just an interest, but was life to me. As God used Galatians 2.20 to open my eyes to scriptural truth and give me a hunger to get to know more and more this Bible through which we learn about Jesus' death and resurrection. So today, this Resurrection Day, even though this will not be perfect, I want to give my best shot at the new program by Scripture Memory Fellowship Sword Grip. So here's my best shot with some mistakes of the, all the Sword Grip verses using the 1984 NIV, though I'll probably mix in a few other translations with a few words or phrases. So here we go. Matthew. Jesus is the promised king who fulfills prophecy. Matthew chapter 1, verse 21 through 23. She will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Jesus, because he will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophet. The virgin will be with child and will give birth to a son, and you are to give him the name Emmanuel, which means God with us. Matthew 1, 21 through 23. Mark, Jesus is God's servant with authority to heal and save. Mark chapter 10, verse 43 through 45. Not so with you. Instead, whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant. And whoever wants to be first must be slave of all. For even the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve and to give his life as a ransom for many. Mark 10, 43 through 45. Luke, Jesus is the Savior who lays down his life for the lost. Luke 9, 22 through 24. And he said, the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the teachers of the law, and must be killed and must be raised again on the third day. Then he said to them all, If anyone would come after me, he must deny himself and take up his cross daily and follow me. Whoever wants to save his life will lose it. Whoever loses his life for me will save it. Luke 9, 22 through 24. John, Jesus is the Son of God who brings eternal life. John 3, 16 through 18. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. For God did not send his Son into the world to condemn the world, but to save the world through him. Whoever believes in him is not condemned. Whoever does not believe stands condemned already, because he has not believed in the name of the of of God's one and only Son. John 3, 16 through 18. Acts, the gospel goes global in the power of the Spirit. Acts chapter 1, verse 7 through 9. He said to them, It is not for you to know the times or the dates that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes on you. And you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. After he had said this, he was taken up before their very eyes and a cloud hid him from their sight. Acts chapter 1, verse 7 through 9. Romans, Christ gives righteousness through faith. Romans chapter 3, verse 21 through 24. But now a righteousness from God Apart from law has been made known, to which the law and the prophets testify. This righteousness from God is through faith in Jesus Christ to all who believe. There is no difference, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God and are justified freely by His grace that comes 
from the redemption that came by Christ Jesus. Romans 3, 21 through 24. 1 Corinthians, gifted believers mature in faith, hope, and love. 1 Corinthians 13, verses 1 through 3. If I speak in the tongues of men and of angels, but have not love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy, it can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge. And if I have a faith that can move mountains, but have not love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and surrender my body to the flames, but have not love, I gain nothing. 1 Corinthians 13, 1 through 3. Second Corinthians, forgiven, believe, forgiven believers give, give freely like Christ. Second Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19 through 21. Uh, but he has committed to us, give me the beginning, that God was, that God was reconciling the world to himself through Christ not counting men's sins against them. And he has committed to us the message of reconciliation. We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, and so God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ, Christ, on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. God made him who had no sin to be sin for us, so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 19 through 21. Galatians, freedom in Christ. Galatians chapter 3, verse 23 through 24. Before this faith came, we were held prisoners by the law, locked up until faith should be revealed. So then the law was put in charge to lead us to Christ so that we may be justified by faith. Now that this faith has come, we are no longer under the supervision of the law. Galatians chapter 3, verse 23 through 25. Ephesians, position in Christ. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 7 through 9. So that in the coming ages, he might show the incomparable riches of his grace expressing his kindness to us in Christ Jesus. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this not from yourselves. It is a gift of God, not by works, so that no one can boast. Ephesians chapter 2, verse 7 through 9. Philippians, joy in Christ. Philippians chapter 3, verse 7 through 9. But whatever was to my profit, I, cannot, I now consider loss for the sake of Christ. What is more, I consider everything a loss compared to the surpassing greatness of knowing Christ Jesus my Lord. For his sake I have lost all things. I consider them rubbish that I may gain Christ and be found in him, not having righteousness of my own that comes, not having righteousness of my own that comes through the law, but the righteousness that comes from God, it is by faith. Philippians 3, verse 7 through 9. Colossians, supremacy of Christ. Colossians chapter 1, verse 16 through 18. For by him all things were created, things in heaven and on earth, invisible, visible and invisible, whether thrones or powers, or rulers or authorities. All things were created by him and for him. He is before all things, and in him all things hold together. And he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning? Yeah. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead. Having, go ahead. So they He is the beginning of the firstborn from among the dead, so that in him, so that in everything, so that in everything he might have the supremacy? Yes. Already, okay. Uh, Colossians chapter 1, sorry for messing that up, verse 16 through 18. 1 Thessalonians 
chapter 4, verse 16 through 18. 1 Thessalonians, living for Christ's return. 1 Thessalonians, chapter 4, verse 16 through 18. For Christ himself will come down, will come down from heaven with a loud command, with the sounding of the trumpet and with the voice of the archangel, and the dead in Christ will rise first. After that, we who are still alive and are left will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so we will be with the Lord forever. Therefore, encourage each other with these words. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verse 16 through 18. Second Thessalonians, waiting for the day of the Lord. Second Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3 through 5. For the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen and protect you from the evil one. <clears throat> we have confidence in the Lord that you are doing and will continue to do what we commanded. May the Lord direct your hearts into God's love and into Christ's perseverance. Um, 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 3 through 5. 1 Timothy. 1 Timothy, um, Christ, Christ's church stays true to her calling. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse, uh, verse 6, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10 through 12. 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10 through 12. For the love of money is the root of all kinds of evil. Some people eager for money have wandered from the faith and pierced themselves with many griefs. But you, man of God, flee from all this and pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness. Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Uh, 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 10 through 12. 2 Timothy. Christ's pastors hold on to his word. 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12 through 14. That is why I am suffering as I am. Yet I am not ashamed because I know whom I have believed, and am convinced that he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him for that day. What you have heard from me, keep as a pattern of sound teaching, along with faith and love in Christ Jesus. Guard the good deposit that was entrusted to you. Guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in us. Uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 12 through 14. Titus, grace calls for godly leaders in good lives. Titus chapter 1, verse 5 through 7. The reason I left you in Crete was that you might straighten out what was left unfinished and might appoint elders in every town as I directed you. An elder must be blameless, the husband of but one wife, a man whose children believe and are not open to the charge of being wild and disobedient. Since an overseer is entrusted with God's work, he must be blameless, not overbearing, not quick-tempered, not, not given to drunkenness, not violent, not pursuing dishonest gain. Uh, might have missed one there, not sure. Titus chapter 1, verse 5 through 7. Philemon, from slave to brother. Philemon chapter 1, verse 15 through 17. 